Hey now with head coach Anna Nims after the Lady Demons pick up the win today over Texas A&M Commerce. Coach, what is it about Prather Coliseum? <laughs> it's magical <laughs> for sure this year. It's a little, it's got some magic for us. The fans got some magic, cheerleaders, band, everybody. They're bringing the magic because uh, it's not the case on the road right now, uh, but we challenged the girls. Uh, you know, I think the last thing I said both to, both to you and to the girls is we got to stop talking about it and we got to start being about it. Uh, and I thought they were about it all day today. I thought they did played a great game for 40 minutes. Um, they started quick, they followed the game keys, they followed the scout, and, and then they excelled at it. So um, just, just real happy, happy that we could come home, you know, after that many games on the road uh, and be able to bounce back and then push us into this upcoming week. Just a great way uh, to kind of take a deep breath and, and be able to, you know, give them something positive. They earn something positive uh, and then just move us in, like I said, to this next week. If I would have told you before the game that we would go 0 for 11, our first 11 three-point attempts, and be down by one point at halftime, what, what would you have said? I don't think that's okay for me to respond with. <laughs> I mean, the foul. The, I mean, thankfully, and we didn't yeah. really shoot that great uh, from the field in the first half, but free throws really made a big difference. Yeah, it was free throws, and you know, we were talking. Uh, as we're heading into the locker room, we had them in foul trouble. We had their starting lineup in, and we weren't able to capitalize on different uh, roster changes. Uh, we were 0 for 11 from the three-point line, so I think it's just a testament to, one, their ability to uh, stay locked in on the defensive end and not allow our missed shots to upset us on the other end. Um, they did a tremendous job just continuing to dial in, but then again, uh, they read the floor. Sharna was 7 for 9 the other night, so obviously she was getting guarded heavily, so it kind of opened up the gaps. and. You know, Candace Paramore had a tremendous first half, second half as well, but just um, I think she kind of led the way with showing everybody how big the open drives were, and then we played, you know, to the free throw line. And so it was just a great job because it wasn't just some bang-up night for us shooting, and they were able to still capitalize on the, on the little things. Well, then we come out and shoot 60% in the third quarter, <laughs> make five, uh, five out of ten from three. So it's, it's kind of one of those crazy deals. And, uh, like, talk – I isolate that third quarter if you can. I mean, like 25 to 13, the score there. And, uh, it really was a big difference. Yeah, something that we've been talking about, and, and I was happy to hear the girls, Jazz, give Coach Brown a little bit of a shout-out on that. But we talk about it coming out of half. There's first three possessions. First three possessions are going to be crucial on the defensive end and, and on the offense. We can't trade points. Got to be dialed in right from the jump, and I think they did that, and that just obviously propelled us forward. And then the girls were able to dribble drive attack, touch the paint, and then Paramore was able to knock down the open shot. I think she found that confidence. Uh, they maybe take away her drive, but she's truly become a three-level scorer in her two years here, uh, whereas last year maybe she was all downhill. She's worked on her game. She's got a mid-range game. She's got a three-point game, so she's a tough kid to guard. Um, you know, and then we were able to – everybody was able to hit the crucial shot, whereas on Thursday we were missing two-foot bunnies. Uh, and just not staying locked in and being able to hit them. Um, the girls just, I think they understood. They were driving baseline, finding the little bunny shot right there two feet away from the rim, and we were connecting on it. So I just think they played great team basketball there in the third quarter, and we talk about it all the time. The more people that touch it, the more it turns side to side, the higher percentage of shots, and that's just proof in the pudding right there. Yeah, you mentioned the clutch shots. Uh, Jazz hit that one uh, from the elbow, and then I, I think a really maybe a high IQ play to get the switch uh, to get Jelly ISOed on, on the bigger girl, and yep. she was able to take the, take the drive in another reminiscent of the winner against Lamar. It really was, you know, and, and she attacked the hip hard. They were able to switch. Uh, I was happy to see her connect there at the rim. Again, we weren't able to do that. Uh, Thursday uh, she played all the way to the rim and that was as big as it could have been uh, you know we had a couple shots we had a nice baseline drive we hit B in the corner knocked down the three and you know I think every kid stepped and hit the crucial shot that one shot that gave us the three-point lead back because they were on our heels um, you know after that they were on our heels the entire game and so they every kid that hit one of those clutch shots just gave us a little bit of that cushion that we needed to then move on to the defensive end without having to be so tight uh, I know we talked a lot about offense today, but, you know, 70 points is very exciting, but I know you got a couple things at least to say about how good the defense plays, especially down the stretch. Yep, I think they just, they work their scout incredibly well, but aside from just working their scout, I thought they were incredibly physical, they moved their feet really well, uh, they communicated 100% better, and, and I think they did a nice job helping our post play, because um, our post play worked their tails off, but I think our guard play was a lot better in just applying more ball pressure and making it uncomfortable for them. Um, but I think... Uh, Coach A shared a little bit of the radio broadcast, uh, and I think it might have stuck just a little bit. I think the radio broadcast on Thursday, um, you know, maybe got to him. You know, we were obviously able to watch the game, watch the whole game, and obviously you can hear it when you're watching. So 
uh, I'm happy. I'm happy it kind of got at them and, and they were able to capitalize on it. Yeah, no, so like not being able to come out on top a few times this past week can definitely like bog your mind, like your mentality going into the next game. But like going into today, you could tell like it, it definitely switched. Yeah, they, I think yesterday during film session, they just, we have, you know, we talk about commitment to change and commitment to corrections. And I think they did that. And that's all that boils down to, um, you know, didn't have to do a lot, just tried to uh, help them mentally. Um, obviously a lot of ice and rehab. And then I think they showed up and played their tails off today. And so I know that like you always say you know, put it together four quarters all the time, all the time. And like I actually saw that today. I saw you know no one ever just got down on themselves. Yeah, I think they played a good team. They were a good team today. Um, you know they didn't allow something that maybe went wrong to kind of fester. I think they were able to pull each other together. Um, you saw a lot more touches today. We talk a lot about getting touches. Um, you know and just that positive affirmation. When things are good, it's easy to be good, but we got to be good when things are bad. And I think they did a good job of that tonight. And so going forward, obviously, like you have a few more home games, something about Prairie Coliseum everybody talks about, but like, just how do you, how do you stick with that consistency? Because, you know, the tournament, yeah, is a little, is kind of far away, but it's approaching, so. Yeah, I think we just got to focus on Thursday. Um, you know, not jinx the Prather magic, not necessarily, you know, stay, stay focused forward on the next game at hand, uh, and we'll deal with the tournament when the tournament gets here, as long as we take care of our job and we allow ourselves that opportunity. So could you say you learned anything about them today, just being, just seeing them in that moment and be able to, to keep that lead? Uh, I'd love to say yes, but no. We know what they're capable of. That's why it's sometimes so frustrating when we don't see it because we've told them a thousand times, you're an incredible team, you're an incredible group of women. Um, we beat ourselves quite often. And so when they commit to, to that team and to that philosophy and to truly believe how good they can be, uh, no, I'm not shocked by anything that they can do. They can, they can be absolutely amazing. Uh, we just gotta stay locked in and believe in it. Thanks so much, Coach. Thank you.